Here's my collection of yo-yos. Well, actually, I've got a lot more than these, but these are the four that light up, and that's what I'm trying to do in this night shift work. Show ones that really don't do justice to them in the daylight because they have a light inside which you really can't appreciate. So I'll be standing up to do each of these. The first one I got back in the 1990s was made by Duncan Yo-Yos, who are a well-known American company who make wonderful, wonderful, wonderful yo-yos. Let's get this into focus first. And in the background, you can just slightly see a, a battery. There's one of the, uh, I think, AAA batteries in this one, in the background at a slant. And there's another one in the back bit here. And then there's wires going through it, right through the middle of that coil there. There's wires actually connecting the two. So the two batteries it's got are actually in series. And it's producing two times one and a half, which is three volts it's going to have. My goodness. Anyway, let's have a go. This one is one of those easy ones. You just throw it down. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I'll see if I can make this light up in the dark. Daisy. I'll make it a bit shorter actually, and then it'll, it'll stay in shop a bit better. That's lighting up very nicely indeed. See the point is, it's an ordinary yo-yo when it was all said and done, but um, in the daylight, well, you don't notice the light. It's, it's, there's nothing, it's nothing to, to admire because it's, the light is too strong, the, the daylight. But when you've got it in the night time like that, it really is much, much best, a better thing to perform with. And kids would love that because as it lights up, it's exciting, isn't it? This one here is a very old one, the first one I got, I think, from the 1970s. You can see the big, big battery inside. It's got a double A battery. And it's got another one in the back there. Each of them has two batteries with wires going through to put them in series, so it's producing three volts. And then the bulbs are connected, and there's a little centrifugal switch, which as you spin it fast, switches on. It won't turn it won't turn, turn on until it's actually it's actually uh, moving. So let's have a go with this one. This is very bright actually. This one is going to be almost too bright actually. Astonishing. Let's have a go. I'll, I'll do it in a shorter string if I can. That's lighting up the whole room, that is astonishing. What it's got is white, white bits on the, on the front face here, and these are orange here, so you're getting a double, double colour, which is very nice, actually. I'm not spinning very well. Let me get another go and get it to um, perform better. Right. That's better. That's really lighting up very nicely. But it's a fairly, fairly unbalanced thing, and it's very hard to keep it exactly vertical so that it goes on a long time. It's not a stunt yo-yo, which is the last you are, so you can't do anything like sleeping with it. But it's still fun to see the thing lighting up, which is so much better to do in the dark when people can actually enjoy the light. Now, these last two are proper stunt yo-yos, which means they are not fixed to the spindle of the centre. And what you have to do... And I've, I'm just going to put this on my finger, and then I'll bring the yo-yo up into into thing. You have to have, for for these for these ones. You always have to have, to have a loop, in which you um. Yeah, oops, dizzy. Lost, I lost a bit. I lost a bit. Of my bit of track here. There we are. I've got a loop. Put the loop through the finger like that. That's that's the starting position. Here's a yo-yo. This is really quite a spectacular one. This was uh, 19... Uh, this is the year 2000, this was. Try and get the highlight of it, and you see there's actually three AG13 batteries in there, actually. And then it's fun again on the back as well. So let's have a go with this one. This one I'll try to get it to sleep when it sleeps, as it were. I'll bring it up into shot to show the things. You can see what's already already happening as I tap it like that. There's a little tremble switch and there's LEDs starting to light there. When that's spinning around, it's going to do something a little more spectacular. Let's have a go. I'll put it this way because the lights are this way. Woo! Let's have another go at that. It's it's a quite a quite a little light show it produces when it's um 
when it's down there, when it's... If you kept it going, of course, it'd be better, but um, I can't get it in and out of camera, but I make it sleep at the bottom. It's stationary for a short time, and you can see the LEDs lighting up. This one, I've got to turn it this way, I think it is. No, no, this way again. Here we go. So I'm going to toss it down really hard, and then bring it up to camera level. Oh! One more go, one more go. Making a lovely fizzing noise as it goes down too, which I think is spectacular. So we have to twist it like that to give it to get it to bite, to get the thing to to, to hold on initially. What do you think I had to learn from a professional yo-yo artist who was showing at at the at the toy fairs? And you, there's lots and lots of tricks for doing stunts, but there's the stunts are way beyond me. I can't do them. I can just about manage this sort of thing, but um, nothing harder than this. I don't think so. You just get it back in my finger. Which do you think? There we are. That's the anchor like that. I'm going to do it this way like this and see if I can get it to behave itself. A nice light show that, wasn't it? Before it stopped. Very nice indeed. And there's one more to show, which is a very quaint one of this. <laughs> there's a character in the kids' comics called Furby, I think his name is. Which was the right way around. That's got to be that, like that, I think. The only lights on this one is that bit there and that bit there with two red LED lights. But the extra fun for this one is it makes funny noises. So this is a yo-yo which um, talks to you. Well, it only makes funny sort of um, creature noises, which is a bit of fun. And uh, But those two little LEDs light up as well. So we'll see if I can get it both to perform. But you'll certainly hear the noise. It's wee -wee -wee -wee, all that sort of stuff. Uh, this way around like this. Yes, that's right. Here we go. Uh, is it that way? No, I've... No, I've got it this way. It's this way. Furby's coming up now. Ooh, and he's running out of energy. <laughs> so let's have one more go with that, because it's a bit of fun. They're a lot trickier for kids to do this because the, um, you've got to do a very hard throw to get it down there and to, and to sleep, as they call it. And then if you're going to carry on yo-yoing, you've got to get it up again and give it another impetus of, of um, rotational energy, which takes a bit of effort for kids to learn to do. But there we are. That's ready to, to, to fly now. And I think I've got to turn it round the other way, 180 degrees, so you can see it. This is a bit, always a bit tricky if it's fiddly with the string, but it's, and it's slightly in the dark here too, which doesn't help. But there we are. It's got to be anchored on my skin, on my hand like that. And then it's ready to go. And let me just see if this is the right way around for... Yeah, there we are. So there are two little LEDs there, and we'll see if it makes a funny noise as well. Ooh, that's a good one. That's about all he does. But um, if you were doing it properly, you wouldn't stop there. You'd, you'd stop it sleeping. You'd come up again and give it another throw and keep it going for as long as long, long as you can be bothered with it, really. You can make them go a long time. But it's a lot of fun. So it's certainly both of them, those last two are, are tricky to do, but all four of them, are, I think, are a lot more fun to do in the dark because um, they, they've all got lights in it. So that's what you've got to do with things. You've got to, you've got to find the gloom and then perform with it. I'm having a lot of fun at this night shift. <laughs>